Hey gang, Chad from Firechild Video here. Welcome back to Blending with a Noob. Uh, in our last tutorial, in episode 2, we took a look at how to uh, build the outer walls of, of a house. Of, well, my future house. And, uh, yeah, everything was real simple. We went through some basic stuff. And in this one, let me just hit 7 on my number pad to go back to my top view. And we can see this. Uh, one uh, comment I got from, from one viewer was... Uh, asking for this image for the uh, file and you know what I should have uploaded that uh, to begin with so um, as soon as I get a chance when I'm done recording this tutorial it will be uploaded you can put it in your project so you can follow along a little easier my bad I'm forgetting that that was dumb anyway uh, in this tutorial we're gonna keep it kinda simple and we're just gonna focus on this path because what we need to use in order to make this path I, I just learned recently remember I'm a noob as well um, we need to use we can't use the basic mesh the basic shapes because we get this curvy line and if we try to do it the way we did the outer walls of the house it's just not gonna work so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a bezier curve which um, also if you're if you're making a company logo of some nature uh, that's how you would make it using bezier curves and you'll see what I mean as we go through building you know modeling this sidewalk so what we can do is first of all left click somewhere close and zoom in so we can just see our sidewalk and actually we can zoom in quite a bit we'll left click to put our cursor here because that's where we want to create our object so we'll hit spacebar add curve bezier curve this is a great tool. Now, okay, if I hit tab to go between object and edit mode, now I'm in edit mode. You can see we have this bezier curve and, you know, the little bezier handles. If you've done any After Effects work or even Photoshop, you know what bezier is. So, what we want to do first of all is this thing starts off uh, curved already. We want it straight to begin with. So, what we can do is hit V, V for Venus, and that'll straighten it out. Then, if we hit G to grab it, as, as we've discussed in previous tutorials, we can set it up pretty close. Now this is kind of a grainy image that we're, that we're working with here, so it doesn't have to be exact. If you were doing a, a logo or, or something something like that, or tracing out a font that you may not have on your computer, but you want to you know, have it built in 3D, then you would want to be a little more precise. But for this one, I'm not going to be too picky on where the points are. So what I'm going to do is select this point, hit G, position it. Then I'll select this point. Remember, I'm selecting just the center point because these two outer points are the bezier handles, and I don't want to mess with the bezier handles right yet, right now. And we'll position this one right about there. And now what we can do is start tracing it out kind of in the same way that we traced out the outer walls of the house. We'll hit E, as in extrude, and what this will do when we have a bezier curve selected, you hit E, it creates another point, which is helpful. And we can position that point, left click to confirm, just move down so I can see. And we just do that over and over. Hit E, bring it around. Now, you don't have the curve just yet, which, I mean, if you want to, you can go in and manipulate the handles and make your curve right now as you go. But I prefer to get the shape done first. So click, we'll hit E. Uh, actually, I right click and cancel that. I want to, oops, uh, Control Z. Hit G, I want to pull this one down just a little bit more. So pull that to about there. Then we'll hit E, bring it down, left click to confirm, and I want to move it a little further. So I hit G, bring it down some more. About, I guess right there where the curve starts. I'll hit E. Real simple stuff, guys. I mean this this is not very complicated at all. And hit E again. We'll come down here. Hit E again over here and we'll hit E again really all we're doing is just tracing it out and see now I'm not really going exactly with with the map here you can be as detailed as you want or as clumsy as you want and put that one right to about right there I guess and hit E again and the more I use blender the more I'm just fascinated with some of the things it can do. I love this program. And I hope you guys are having fun, fun, fern. Hope you're having fun learning along with me, if I can ever learn to talk properly. Okay, and then we'll put another one here. Now, what we could do is hit E again and extrude it to this point, but really all we need is this point right here and this point right here to 
connect. So the easiest way to do that, instead of creating another, another point, all we have to do is hit C for Chad, C on the keyboard, bam, it connects it and it creates our uh, object. But as you can tell, it's real straight. It's real, you know, that's not what we want. So what we can do now is go in and manipulate each, each of these bezier handles, give it a little detail, make it a little more smooth. Um, first thing I like to do is hit Z for zebra. Hit Z and that'll toggle into our wireframe mode so that we can only see our line. If we zoom in here, we can grab this handle with right click to grab that handle. Hit G, pull it out. Right click on this one, hit G, pull it out. And then we'll just follow that around. And let's zoom out, make this easier. Okay, we'll grab this one, hit G. And this is where you want to go and, and make sure all your curves are smooth. Make sure they're lined up. This is where we get into the detail stuff. And G, and G, and back up here, we'll right click, hit G. And actually, I'm gonna grab this point and move it in a little bit. There we go. Hit G, right click, G. Yeah, right click, G. It's a gangster tutorial now. <laughs> right click, hit G. All right, yes, I know I'm a dork, but you know what? That's all right. I have no problems with that at all. All right, now we can hit Z for zebra again, and if we go like this, we'll go back into object mode by hitting tab. We've got a pretty smooth, pretty smooth surface, but it's absolutely flat, and we don't want that. So we'll go seven back to the top view, and now what we can do, we have our shape, but you know, once we build the yard, the, the sidewalk's gonna have a little bit of depth to it. It's gonna be buried into the grass, but you know, it's not gonna be a flat surface. It's gonna have some some sideline depth going this way. So easiest way, if we go down here, if you're in your editing tab, which as you can see right there, F9 will take you to the editing tab. What you can do is you've got these controls right here. Width, extrude, bevel depth, bevel resolution. We don't really wanna give it too much, but we wanna give it a little extrusion. And if we go to three, we can see the side view. So we can give it maybe 0.2. That might be a little much, but once we do the grass and, and the front yard, it, it'll hide that no problem. And we can bevel it and then bump up the resolution quite a bit. Eh, three is probably good. And now we've got this cool sidewalk. Now you, what you probably want to do is, you see we still got a little roughness. Uh, we can set it smooth. Or we can hit Control C, I believe. No. Just shift C. No. Wow. See? No. What am I doing? You know, sometimes I just don't quite know what the hell I'm doing. And, yeah. Alt C. There we go. Duh. Okay. Yeah, I'm showing my noob colors, but hey, it's called blending of the noob for a reason, right? Okay, what we can do now is it's still... It's still a curve, right? It's not a mesh yet. And if we ever wanted to go in and edit it any further, oops, if we ever wanted to go and edit it any further, we'd, we need it to be a mesh. You don't have to, but um, you know, if you ever come into this situation in the future, especially with text, you wanna convert it to a mesh. Alt-C brings up this menu and convert curve to mesh. And then when you do that, if we go back into edit mode, you'll see we've got all these polygons created and we've got you know, A to select all, and there's our mesh. To where if we wanted to go in and add any additional detail, we could. You don't have to, that's not, all, at least for the sidewalk, that's not a necessary part. Um, but there it is. I'm out of things to say for this episode. Uh, let's go back up here. Uh, you do the same process for creating, I'm not going to go ahead and show it through you, but the same process for creating this sidewalk as you did for this one. So I'll go ahead and let you guys do that one. And when we come back next week for the next tutorial, we'll start on the porches, the back porch. You know, I mean, the, the concrete driveway isn't going to be too hard. And hopefully by then, I'll have taken some measurements in the house, and I'll have the inner walls sketched in, and I'll upload that. So I'll have this image uploaded for you. Hopefully by next week, I'll have the inner walls uploaded for you, and we can keep going from there. Until then, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please bring your tips, bring your comments. Let me know what you think. Um, I, I need as much help as, as from you guys as you need from me. So have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.